Hi guys, Ryan Jeff here. In this video, we will continue our development, which is we're gonna use a search functionality using Ruby on Rails Hotwire. So here, uh, we're still using the SQL Light. So you will see later that I'm using the SQL Light query, which is like instead of I like and not PG. And but in the future, we will move to PG, so we can or Postgres. And then we can, uh, how do you call it, um, search other functionality, how we can enhance and enhance this project. So here, so you, sorry, so you can learn how to use the hot wire or you can play with it, which is yeah, from the beginning or until the end of the development. I mean, doing the enhancement of the codes. So here, if you can see my, uh, my screen, let's say I added here, this is the example that we need we gonna work on so here i will search the project one for example so i added a project one and i can search the project one so you can see here that um it is doing the turbo let me go to rails so it's searching the rails so you can see here that is streaming okay so you can see here also that's the parameter so we're gonna work on some other little details that we can work on on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna pull out my code editor and then we can dig in. Okay, so we're gonna add here, we're gonna, we need to do it first, the uh, changing of our um, branch. So I'm gonna uh, git uh, checkout, I'm gonna use the uh, search uh, project. So we have a checkout in here. I'm gonna check out for a new branch. So I'm gonna create a new branch slash B. So that's what it means. So now I move to search project branch. So if you can see here, git grab is an example. So you can see how the uh, git is working. So you can remember where you ended up and which one that you already finished. So that's good in development. So you, if you're a new developer, it is good if you understand how the command line in Git or the UI, but I just, uh, how to call it, recommend, learn how to use the command line and understand what is in Git. Okay, so here I think I add, I already running the, uh, I already run the uh, uh, rails. So we have here, I will go here back. I think I don't have yet the, the search. So yeah, I don't have yet. So here we're gonna add a first, let me pull it down this one. I'm gonna go to the project.rv and then I will add here first the, uh, how do you call it? The search functionality. Uh, so I'm gonna add here the self, uh, self that search. We're gonna search from this uh, object or the project.rv and I'm gonna call it search and then end. And then I'm gonna look for where is the title. And then since uh, we are using SQLite here, um, we're using SQLite, we will use the, uh, how do you call it, syntax? How do you call it in uh, SQLite? Uh, query, uh, which is like, instead of I like, if you're using Postgre, you can use also I like or SQL. Uh, what is that, I, I like, yeah. So, but we are using SQLite 3, so you're gonna use this for the meantime. So content, and then I'm gonna use like again, and then question mark, and then uh, string, and then, um, yeah, we're gonna add here. Let me add in here. Let's do this one. Where is that on my keyboard? I have a problem sometimes on my keyboard. So search, so I'm gonna say, okay, this is search. I'm gonna trip that one. So it means I'm gonna look or when I see the rails capital letter or I'm gonna say I'm gonna trip. So I'm gonna look on the specific character that I have. That's what I remember. Um, and then we're gonna add, we have here also, let me add it the next one which is, let's do, the, let do this. Okay, so we have a title that can search and then also content. I think that was it. Um, do I have missing something? 
And then we're gonna go to the project controller. And then in the project controller, we will be adding a uh, mm, search functionality, which is, I'm gonna full out in here so it is quick, so I can just explain. So we have a projects and then we call it projects of the variable variable and then we are searching to the parameters of search and if it's search and it is present then it will show so yeah i think that was it and then we're gonna go to the index so we have a model we have a project controller so you can see in the controller itself we don't need to do any turbo it's only on the uh, index so i'm gonna save this one close and then I will go here. So what I'm going to do is I will copy paste what I, how do you call it? What I have in here. So it will be quick. So on the design. Um, so again, we are using here last time the nav design, which is we can just change in here. We can just change whatever we like, but I just pull out this uh, design from the, how do you call it? Get bootstrap. So here, <clears throat> I have a form width, I have a URL which is empty, empty string, and then we have a method which is get, it means you will get the informations. And I use the deflex call column 12, and I have a data which is it will call the turbo frame which is the projects, which is this streaming. And then in turbo action, I use advance instead of replace. Why? Because the advance is it will pull out the records and then just throwing the how do you call it the records to the search instead of replace when you says replace it will replace the uh, the whole how do you call it turbo so here is like okay i'm gonna give you the records and this is the informations and then we added the search field and then we call it search which is in the parameter that we have and then the value and then we have a class form con uh, control from the get bootstrap and then the placeholder that they can see that uh, search for the project. And I think that was it. Let's see if it is working. So this is the project. And then let's see inspect. And then here. Then let's create a project. Project one. Test project. Or we can just make a seed. But next time we're going to do that. So it will not uh, take time for us in the video project two. Oh, sorry uh, project two. test test rails and then i'm gonna add here 24 so we have a two in here and then let's say project one and then we have a problem in here so we uh, i made a wrong in here instead of strip i i put trip so that is wrong so so let this strip strip so what else um, okay let's say project one so it is now working that's how it easy on the how they call it using the search functionality in the turbo so now i would like to add a some color that can highlight when i search the project or anything so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to applications, how do you call it, uh, helper, um, maybe we can put in here, uh, let's say def highlight, uh, highlight, query highlight, we can call it query highlight, 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 and and then we're gonna do a and then we're gonna add here the uh, how do you call it params which is we call it search that is what we called and then we will convert to string and then to split and then we will add a empty string then it will goes in here then it will color our search uh, without any css okay so i'm gonna save this one i'm gonna go to the index ah sorry to the project and then i will add some informations in here so because if you will uh, how do you call it 
if you will search for now it will not gonna work so let's say project so there's no still highlight so I'm gonna turn I'm gonna close that one and then I will go here onto the project then I will add some informations on the titles which is we are gonna call it highlight highlight that's, I think that's highlight and then we go here and then what else um what is that uh then we're gonna add the search query yeah we're gonna add this one um but we added again queries query highlight query highlight oh i think this one yeah so i'm calling the query highlight which is from the um, uh, project helper which is this one so i'm gonna copy paste this one so i will not gonna made any mistake on the um, how they call it spelling and then i'll go here to the project content i will add also the highlight and then i will add also in here and then query you know, query highlight and then i think that was it and then let's go back in here and it says highlight highlight that's wrong spelling come on yeah highlight and then let's uh, refresh okay so now you can see here now so let's say I put test and then you will see that you have a highlight of the search and then if I will say uh, two so you have also a number two sorry so this is how it works in the search functionality using the turbo is super easy and using the advanced fun functionality which is really nice also you can do also replace it depends on the scenario but here we just make it simple and um, yeah i think you can follow and next time we're gonna add a seed so we have a lot of project that we can search on and you can see how the turbo responds it's really nice and yeah i think that was it and thank you for watching and see you on the next video and yeah hit subscribe so we can make a lot of video and um, yeah and hope you enjoy and i hope you will learn more in this coming uh, video we're gonna do also a simple form using the hardware and we're gonna cover also uh, the login and the sign up using the turbo so you know how that will work and then we will go forward on the project itself we can customize some other part there and also the back end of the object or the model and to customize the how do you call it uh, the turbo there to make it a simplified okay thank you so much and see you in the next video then